When the days are dreary outside, it's nice to see some color indoors. And paint expert Sharon Greck went looking for ways to add color into our interior spaces. We all know that paint is an easy way to bring color into your home. Here at the Benjamin Moore booth at the Interior Design Show, we're featuring Blue Nova, our color of the year. And I've also got topaz. We can show some nice combinations. But of course, there's lots of other ways to bring color into your home. Now come take a look at this beautiful pop of color on this style garage sofa. This would definitely make an impact in any room. Now I love this color. It looks like Benjamin Moore's Topaz, which is one of my favorite. This color makes me feel so energetic and happy. And as you can see, I kind of blend right in. Look at this color, this candy-inspired collection from Roche Bavois. I absolutely love it. It's so eye-catching, but you won't believe this. It's actually exterior furniture, and it's very modular, so you can just change around your seating configuration and enjoy sitting in it, but also just looking at it. It's so beautiful. If you're looking for small ways to bring a pop of color into your kitchen or your bathroom, why not change out the faucet? Look at these beautiful, simple designs, but the color just really makes such a statement. And of course, there's other ways of bringing it into your kitchen and your bathroom with small accessories. So much color. Of course, art is a wonderful way to bring color into your space, and this is actually functional art. This designer uses upholstery fabric, which gives an acoustic element to it, but you can also add an insulation level to even vary the soundproofing. Now, we're also seeing patterns printed on acoustic panels so that you create the look of a feature wall in a space. People always ask me where to get color inspiration for their space. Imagine a beautiful area rug like this would make a statement in a very neutral space, but it's also a wonderful jumping off point to pull any of your favorite colors into other furniture and of course your wall color. Absolutely stunning and Sharon Greck joins me now in studio. That was beautiful. Like Really nice pieces at IDS, always mm. at the Interior Design Show. Gorgeous please, pieces. So you're playing with color, and those are the, you know, those are the moments where I'm, I sort of feel like I gravitate towards you. Yes. So let's talk about what color does for us. Yeah, well, you know what, Tracy, I mean, we talk about it all the time, but it's so important we communicate with color. We understand things because of color. Mm -hmm. And it's like even a tiny little bit of it is like a beacon, especially when you're looking out in a sea of gray or beige, yes. like we see outside our windows right now. Yeah. A little flower, like something, please give me some color. So yeah. it can really change our mood too, you know? Oh, like yes. some colors make us feel like take you up a notch and you're more energetic. And then yeah. other colors, we you know we find it kind of calms us down, grounds relax. You. It grounds you, exactly. Yeah. So I think that it's so important to really think about the colors that make you happy mm -hmm. and know that although it's very personal, there yeah. is some color theory and and really like the color theory dictates that the warm side of the palette the yeah. reds the oranges the yellows those are the colors that do tend to bring more of an energetic mood to a space or Absolutely. to us whereas the cooler side of the palette the, the purples the blues and the greens those are the ones that tend to make us feel more relaxed and calm so mm -hmm. there's lots of options out there our eyes can distinguish between millions and millions of colors so you don't have to like the same color I like. No. There's one out there for you. You can do your own thing. So exactly. I want to talk about happy colors. Yes. I feel like that's what we need at this time of year. What are, what would be the happy colors? Well, you know what? Happy colors are, again, it's it's very personal. Yes. So I think that I know that you love color, and I always see I you do. wearing color. And I know that I kind of thought it would be a fun segment if we... If I picked your happy color, which I, I kind of know that it is your happy color, yes. but I think we both like those high energy colors. So yeah. Tracy, I know you love yellow. I love it, yellow. And there's like, we've got this huge piece of art uh, in our kitchen because my sink does not face a window and we are dishwashers. We don't use the dishwasher. These are our dishwashers. <laughs> so we, I face that beautiful big yes. piece of yellow art and it's almost like the sun. And I remember when we were first sourcing the art, my husband was like, oh, I don't know about this. <laughs> I was like, let's just put it up for a week yeah. and see how you feel. It's energizing. It absolutely and is. And this is it. That's it. It's This sunshine. is it. This is the color. So yellow, it's not an easy color. It used to be a really hard color to find in fashion. Now you're seeing it everywhere, which, you know, thank goodness. 
Uh, but yellow will cheer. always do it for me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And I remember that story about your kitchen. And I yeah. remember when I saw it, that's exactly what it does. And it can be so functional. Yes. So I love that. Love your happy colors, yellow. And my happy color is orange. Nice. And I've loved it that's since I was a kid. too. It is. Like, yeah. I remember saying my favorite color was orange instead of red and blue. And it was like, oh. But I've <laughs> always really been drawn to it. And yeah. I think I don't necessarily wear it. And I don't even decorate with it a lot yeah. in that, you know, that sort of really bold version. Mm -hmm. But it makes me happy. And I think I remember um, 25 years ago, I was a uh, maid of honor at my best friend's wedding. Yeah. And she wanted me to wear orange. You never argue with the bride. So <laughs> I did. I saw that oh, fabric and I was like, oh good. boy. But I went for it, had the dress, head to toe. And honestly, Tracy, I still remember I felt like the life of the party. Like I it bet was. You were. <laughs> She was dancing on a table at some point yeah. in that dress. Like, come on. But orange but yes. will do it for you. If you ever see me wearing head-to-toe color, you know that I woke up probably in a bad mood. Right. Like, and I need it to elevate, elevate me. That's what you do. You you sort of tap into the things around you or what you put on to sort of get yep. you in the mood. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So let's talk about using these colors in real life. If you look <laughs> at that and you think, oh, okay, that's a lot. It might be a lot. And I think yeah. people always ask me about that when it comes to painting. And I think there's lots of wonderful examples that we have where we've used bright yellows bright oranges as accents in the laundry room in yeah. the kitchen in the bathroom places that you don't necessarily spend a lot of time but yeah. for the most part it's about the saturation and when people are looking at paint color specifically there's usually a, a big amount of it so yeah. we tend to not use these highly saturated colors or very saturated colors but we take them down a notch so yeah. if you think about a more muted version Stuart gold That's this is beautiful. one of our very popular colors from the historical collection yeah it's muted it's still yellow it still has the happiness. Yeah. But you go to the pastel side to trace. That's um, pale moon. So that's it looks really lovely. light next to these colors, but yeah. it's got a lot of that optimism in it, but not sort of in your face. It's a little more toned down. And same mm. thing with orange. So we go from tangy orange, but if you use topaz, this is my absolute favorite color from our 2024 trends. It's nice. Topaz, love it. It's muted. got some gray to it. It's got some gray. Mm -hmm. And then a really pale version, dusty trail. So again, mm -hmm. you just sort of get that. It's not white. It's got yeah. a little something to it, but it's more toned down. And that's what we tend to want to do in our in our homes on the walls. Now, if you're not doing it on the walls, or if you are and you want to compliment it, there's so many little things we can do to add color into our lives. You have a whole table of color here. Retail therapy. Retail therapy. Right? There's so <laughs> much. Or actually go into it, your storage and get those yes. cushion covers that you haven't used for a while and mix take it those up. out and mix it up. It's so true. I have cushions all over my house that bring yes. the ones in the basement upstairs, the ones upstairs, the drives the ones crazy. But I think a cushion is a really fantastic way. And again, like you said, the cushion covers are so beautiful and they store really easily so many so you yeah. can keep them a rug i think is an amazing way because it's mm -hmm. on the floor you can bring color this is a beautiful kill em rug it's got these gorgeous colors and again it's not in your face but it's just bringing that vibe to your home yeah. rose are of course wonderful imagine cozying up with that bright pink this is one. stunning like, just makes you feel good just yeah. holding it just looking at it and you know what I find it in at home because I work from home my coffee cup like I go to my cupboard in the morning and I'm like who do I feel like today yeah okay I feel pink and and that gives me some cheer throughout the day. It makes a day. difference what you drink your coffee it does, in. This stuff is right? important. Like that's for you Trace. So it's <laughs> like you get to the end of your coffee and you're like oh I'm so sad and then you see this. Do you see that little happy face? Right? That will make you happy every single time. Absolutely. That's lovely. And then, of and course, then fashion. fashion. This is pulled from my actual rack. Like, I, I am wearing the <laughs> rainbow constantly on this show. My clothing sponsors know this, and my stylists know this, and they know I love some color. Um, and it and it puts me in the right mood every single it time. It does. It yeah, just it lovely. really sets the tone. It really does. And there you go. And then fresh yeah. cut flowers. You know, flowers, flowers is like easy. It, Get so them at the ways. grocery store even. I but can't what a walk nice by way. orange tulips without buying them. Oh, I just that's can't. Nice. Love them. That is so nice. Okay, <laughs> thank you, Sean.